and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Community Guide. And today, we are finally back. One of our three vids today, guys. It feels great to be back from vacation. It feels great to be live again. I hated pre recording videos. I did not like that. Felt weird. The channel's been on its deathbed all week, guys. So, I'm going to need to ask a few things from you guys today. Hope it's not too much to ask. But, Noti Gang, I hope you guys are back. You guys were a little dormant this week. I understand. These weren't videos that really fit into the line of what was coming out that week. Of course, the greatest week of content comes out the week and gone. But it's a fun trip nonetheless. Hopefully we can get our channel back up and running, guys. Now, the way we're going to get our channel back up and running on this flashback vid today, is going to be by Noti Gang, guys. If you guys are here right now, all you got to do is smash the like button, comment down below, and show some support in all the vids today. If you guys come through and show support in every vid today, I promise you our channel will be back to normal by tomorrow. So let's get it going. It'd be greatly appreciated, guys, if we can keep this going. Our goal is 20k subs by the end of February, and we have about a month. We have about a month and 10 days, guys to get a little over 2,000 subscribers, so let's make it happen. I know we can do it, guys, so let's, let's keep growing. Now, let's get into this video. We got a flashback to talk about, and Super Bowl-type stuff as far as what I have to talk about real quick, when we should be expecting this, and what kind of content we can be expecting from this as a whole. Now, guys, before we get into the whole flashback portion of it, as far as Super Bowl news goes, guys, I do have a screenshot of the Madden stream. Nothing special, just like a little like date reminder of it. And then as well as, remember, the Chiefs and the 49ers did make the Super Bowl, which does mean that Super Bowl is going to be pretty awesome. Guys, I'm looking, it's looking super good. For all you guys with the 99 Super Bowl collectibles, such as myself, this is part of what I'm talking about as far as Super Bowl news. Now that we have the 99 Super Bowl collectible, we can be expecting something pretty cool here. Now, I always struggle to find the stupid collectible. So I'm going to have to go by newest and go search for it. But the point is here is that this Super Bowl collectible guarantees you a 99 overall Super Bowl MVP. Now, what's cool about it is it is the 49ers and the Chiefs, which means a few things. We are kind of guaranteed some things that are looking pretty awesome. So if the Chiefs win the Super Bowl, more than likely it's, it's Patrick Mahomes. I, it's just hard to envision a Super Bowl that they win in where it's anyone other than him. The only one it could... And let's say it's not. If it's not Mahomes, it's Kelsey, Tyreek Kill, or Watkins. I don't really see it being one of the running backs. Maybe a defense, maybe Frank Clark. But more than likely, it's going to be an offensive player. So I think Tyreek, Travis Kelsey, Watkins, or Mahomes. Any of those guys in that insane. Great. Great for Madden. Great for me. Now, if the 49ers win, it gets a little more sketchy. A little bit more. But still not bad. So... I don't think it'll be Garoppolo. I don't think they, they don't use Garoppolo enough. Garoppolo doesn't get those stats. Now, could he have to in a game like with the Chiefs? I feel like if it's a game with against the Chiefs where Garoppolo has to outscore Pat Mahomes, I don't think it'll happen. I think the way the 49ers win is the same formula of rushing and good defense with a mixed passing attack, which in that case won't give Garoppolo stats needs. I think that as far as the 49ers, I think Raheem Mustard could get the Super Bowl MVP card. Nick Bosa, maybe Fred Warner, and then maybe give or take Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman would have to have a pretty good game, like a pick or an interception, or maybe two picks, a fumble, stri a strip, a fumble recovery. Point is, we're gonna get like either Mahomes, Kelsey, Tyree Kill, Watkins, Sherman, Mustard. Like, no matter how you look at it, we're getting really great players. Mustard is probably the worst of the bunch, but he's gonna be a very fast, it's so like maybe like a 96, 97 speed type of running back. So I wouldn't even mind. So guys, as far as that, and then a Super Bowl promo, I probably predict will be dropping. I think this Friday, coming the 24th. I don't know if they confirmed the date in that. Now, I'm going to head over to the screenshots of what I have real quick. I'm going to go over the two flashback cards that came out today. Pretty cool stuff. And then the Super Bowl as far as that. But, guys, as far as Super Bowl goes, we're going to be getting some cool content. Tyreek Hill is probably going to get a card now. Oh, wait, no, no. Tyreek Hill will get a card. If it's anything like last year, we had the Super Bowl present where we got all cards from the current team. We're going to get, like, a Tyreek Kill. Hopefully a new Mahomes. Going to get a Garoppolo, probably a Mustard, probably a new Nick Bosa, which is super cool because we have his rookie premiere. Guys, it's going to be a really good time for Super Bowl promo type content. Now, let's head on over to the, uh, the screenshot, show you guys the flashbacks and everything I'm talking about. All right, guys, if you look here, you see Crayola looking down, doing a weird little face there. Didn't mean to screenshot him like that. But as you see, late January, start your path to the Super Bowl. So that does start with right here. Is what I meant to say. And then we'll have, obviously early February, that does hint at the Ultimate Legend players coming out in early February. So we're gonna have a pretty good February come. We have a pretty good late stretch of January going to early February. So that is the Super Bowl. Now, probably this Friday, which also kind of lines up with Series 4. Now let's get into the screenshot. Flashback we have is Steven Nelson, 9 2 overall cornerback for the Chiefs. Initially, when I saw this on Twitter, I was not entirely sure who this was for the most part. It looked like a few guys, but not definitely Steven Nelson. Did not know who that was at the time. I don't know how I don't, but. 
it is what it is he has a he had a great week nine in 2016 apparently five foot 11 90 speed 90 excel 91 agility 86 jumping 90 play rec 90 man 84 zone coverage 91 press well rounded a little too balanced for my liking his zone's not great his speed's okay his press is okay his man's okay good on a kansas city theme team which is probably a pretty good theme team this year but in terms of maybe a budget squad he could be useful as a regular player for most teams right now too slow zone's not great enough jumping's not great enough and he can't be powered up I really don't see the appeal to Steven Nelson, not the greatest card they dropped as a flashback. At least flashback overall are going up. That is a step in the right direction. Obviously, that we're getting guys close to once we once we flashbacks, it's like 94, 95. They're gonna be very useful. Hopefully, they get they do that sooner than later because the long, longer they wait, the longer it's gonna be less useful to have these cards. Because obviously by the time if, if these take another month to get to 95 overall, we're gonna have 99 overall. So gonna be kind of counterproductive. Hopefully we get to that. Now, let's head over to the next screenshot, which is Matthew Stafford. Now, Matt Stafford, 93 overall. Matt Stafford on the short lines. Can obviously be powered up, which is a benefit to him. 2011, week 17. Now, for all you line theme teams out there, I know there's not many, but there definitely are some. For all you line theme team guys, going to be a useful card for a Lions theme team. I don't really think, I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't think there's many other quarterbacks for a Lions theme team. Obviously, it's not the best team team to probably pick. But it's definitely one that is a potential option. Now, 2011, week 17. That was a long time ago. I think, yeah, Megatron was still there, right? That was a long time ago. Wow, I forgot how long Matt, Matt Stafford still seems so young to me. I forgot how long he's been in the league. Not like he's crazy. He's been there crazy long, but he's been there for a while. Now, he's 6'3", 75 speed, 96 throw power. So, it's always the appeal of Matt Stafford. It's throw power. So, chemmed up, he's going to get to 99 throw power. So, he's going to have a 99 throw power quite easily. 90 throw short. Hey, that's good. 90, 85 throw mid is really bad. 87 throw deep is pretty bad. 86 throw on the pressure is pretty bad. 86 throw on the run is pretty bad. And 91 play action. Uh, once again, the, the tale of how is he having 93 overall with one stat above 93 overall with all of them in the 80s almost. Now, chemmed up and powered up. He's going to have all above 90. He's going to have above 90 throw deep, above 90 throw short, above 90 throw power, above 90 play action. But that does require all those things. So, remember base... He's not, the, he's not the best. He's going to have a cannon, though, and a pretty accurate deep cannon once he's camped up and powered up. Theme team, probably. Don't seem as a regular team guy. Now, let's head back over to Madden to finish out the last little bit of things I want to talk about. All right, so like I was saying, Super Bowl should be coming pretty soon. Flashbacks were a little underwhelming. They weren't the greatest flashbacks I've ever seen. I mean, I've uh, there's been better weeks. I'm hoping we start getting to a point where flashbacks are usable again, because flashbacks used to be some of the coolest drops in Madden at the time. Guys, this feels great to be back. Super hyped for the Super Bowl, super hyped for NFL Honors, super hyped for Ultimate Legends. That's literally the lineup. It's going to be Super Bowl, NFL Honors, and then Ultimate Legends, and maybe some Pro Bowl content, hopefully. In years past, they used to drop some fire. I remember specifically one, I think it was Madden 13. They had like, they dropped like a 99 three-star. For all you guys who played that long, 99 three-star Calvin Johnson Pro Bowl card. It was insane. It was an insane card. Hopefully, they dropped some Pro Bowl content. We could be having a Super Bowl, no, Pro Bowl, Super Bowl. Ultimate Legends and NFL Honors, you know, not in any order there, but just all four of those in the next few weeks, which will be super awesome. So I'm super excited for the extent of what we could be seeing in the next few days, in the next few weeks, I should say, as a YouTuber. Hopefully we get back to you guys, but guys, like I said, we're back from Barcelona. I'm sorry for leaving for that long. Hopefully we can get the channel back on track. I'd greatly appreciate it for all you guys who are here right now to show some support. The more support you guys show, the quicker this channel will get back on track. I have a lot of goals this year, and to hit all those goals, I'm going to need you guys to show some crazy support. I'm banking on this, boys. Hopefully today, we know we get back on track with the first three video day. A little modest day. Come back tomorrow. Try to get a little better. Super Bowl promo drops. Hopefully, we're back at full extent, guys. Our channel's looking like one-fourth of what it was a few weeks ago. But again, the trip was great. Don't regret it. But I'm going to need you guys. Noti Gang's got to go strong. You Noti Gang, if you're here in our comment down below, Noti Gang, like the video. Can we get this video to 250 likes for a 1030 video? That'd be awesome. Guys, that's all I ask. If we can do that, great things can be done this week. We got to get back on track. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for who watched all the videos during the time I was gone. A decent amount of you guys still came out and watched. I greatly appreciate all you showed support. Hopefully, though, we can now recruit the bulk of our fan base again. Let's keep growing, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like. Let me know down below how your week was. I'll let you guys know how my week was. I'll comment down. I'll answer you guys. I'm back on the comment section again. I'm back now. Wi-Fi sucked over there, by the way. Wi-Fi was horrendous, so I was not really able to use Wi-Fi too often. Tweeting out took like 15 minutes per tweet. It was definitely a struggle, guys. But that is better for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.
Sí.